Hi everybody, this is John Welsh with Riverside County Animal Services and my colleagues are gonna go take a look at a dog that might need some assistance. We're at a outreach here in Riverside. It's being called the Whole Lot of Outreach. Just from this distance, it's not not able to see too well on underneath. Um, I think I'm gonna need to get a hands-on approach to kind of examine the paws. But I mean, the dog's walking around; it's got plenty of energy. Uh, doesn't seem to be in any immediate pain, anything like that. But but we'll we'll get an exam going. It's okay, mamas. It's okay. It's okay, mamas. It's okay. Yeah, you give you some beef jerky, yeah? You can help. It's okay, mom. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So those look pretty good. She hasn't been chewing on those as much mm -hmm. because she's been scratching so much. Okay. So she's just done. I'll go get you some but water. But you can tell, like, I even noticed earlier, she's got a lot less hair all back here where she can reach yeah. than she does up here. Like, it's really Yeah, she's hair pretty hair healthy. Right um, She has a couple of hot spots here and there, but nothing major. She, she comes before us. Um, she eats before us. If I'm hungry and starving and she has no food, she's getting her food before us. She gets water before us. We make sure the fan's on her first, you know, everything when she's hot and stuff. Um, she's my she's everything. Our she's our time. rock, you know, like uh, everything was cool to me. I actually liked it. And there was a one booth that had uh, helping with work to get a job. And I liked that one a lot. <laughs> But other than that, yeah, all the booths were very uh, interesting and very informational. I don't know if that's a word, but yeah. <laughs> we have an effort to provide services for clients that can't usually get these services. So they are either seeking rehab treatment or medical help and they don't have transportation or you know, they're, they're medically unable to transport themselves. So we bring the services to them which is, according to the city, is um, we're providing housing options, medical, mental health, HIV vaccinations, um, hepatitis A shots, probation, if they need to check in with our probation officers, we bring them to them. So any barrier that they have, we wanna eliminate that. We wanna bring the services directly to them. So when we go out, we walk the entire perimeter of what we consider Whole Lake. So we start over at Walgreens, and then we walk all the way to Harupa, and then we come all the way back around. So we calculated it at approximately three miles to three and a half miles full circle. And that's going in the trenches and, you know, up and down the hills throughout the entire um, lake. I would say anywhere from 50 to 80, depending on the day, depending on, you know, the flow of the, the clientele. They um, tend to be a lot of transients where they just come for a few nights and they leave, or they'll come for a few months, but we have some that have been here for two, three years. Mm -hmm.